Nothing is worse than flying insects at any time of the year. Inside, it's even more annoying to see that army of fruit flies hovering over your fruit bowl, making your kitchen look and feel unpleasant. However, there are natural methods for removing those pesky bugs that you can try before bringing out the insecticides. From liquid soap traps to freezing your compost, in today's video, we have a few quick fixes to get rid of fruit flies that are natural and effective. So make sure you watch till the end. First, try making an apple cider vinegar fly trap. If you have a fruit fly army hovering over your trash can or over your fruit bowl, you can eliminate the swarming by simply putting a little bit of apple cider vinegar in a cup or a bowl. After placing the apple cider vinegar, apply plastic wrap to the top. Use a rubber band to hold the plastic wrap in place. Make a few tiny holes in the plastic. Although they'll crawl inside, the flies won't be able to escape the container. If you don't want to use plastic, you can make a funnel out of paper and put it in a jar of apple cider vinegar. After making the trap, place it wherever the fruit flies congregate and voila, no more pests. Next, let's try a ripe banana as a trap. Use the funnel and the jar to make the same trap as before, but this time, use a little bit of ripe banana or other fruit with or without vinegar as bait. Flies are drawn to the ripened odor of the banana to lay eggs for hatching. Within no time, you'll notice that it's overrun with those tiny black bugs and gnats. Allow it to sit there overnight. Gently lift it with little movement and place it in a garbage bag in the morning. Then you can dispose of it using your usual disposal method. Construct a liquid soap trap. Put a small amount of water, dish soap, and apple cider vinegar in a small cup or bowl. The dish soap will lower the liquid's surface tension, making the vinegar more appealing to the fruit flies. The scent will then draw the fruit flies to the liquid and fall into the water, where they'll drown. Additionally, you can use a funnel and a jar to hold everything together. Why not utilize a carnivorous plant? Consider acquiring carnivorous plants that trap insects. These plants are popular with gardeners because their sticky leaves and flowers catch and eat fruit flies. Carnivorous plants use hues, nectars, and scents to entice prey. Some even have night glowing capabilities. The plant sets its trap once an insect has been drawn to its scent, mimicking potential food. These plants employ a few distinct techniques. For example, snap trap plants have sensitive hairs within their jaws that cause the jaw to snap shut when stroked. They resemble gaping lips. Unwary prey is surrounded by opening and closing leaves. This group of plants frequently includes water wheels and Venus flytraps. Another method used by carnivorous plants is the pitfall trap. This trap is a straightforward, bucket-like receptacle that receives and holds digestive juices. Either falling or slipping prey enters it. In particular, pitcher plants use this technique to capture their prey. Sticky mucus is used in flypaper traps so that animals that land on the leaves of the plants can't fly or move away. On the leaf's face, the insects get caught and the leaf folds in to prevent them from leaving. Butterwort and sundew plants use this tactic. These plants will provide a permanent answer to your fruit fly problem. The easiest of all is to refrigerate or remove ripe fruits. As fruits ripen and ferment, you'll notice more fruit flies seemingly out of nowhere. Put fruit that's too ripe in the fridge to keep it from going bad even more and attracting flies with its smell. The cold retards the maturation of the fruit and the development of the flies. On the other hand, you can place the ripe fruits in paper bags and leave them on the kitchen counter to be consumed first if you don't want to refrigerate them. As the fruit ripens, it degrades, generating ethanol, which hatches or attracts flies. Washing facilitates degeneration, just as a warm environment does. Keep a clean environment free of filth. Dishes that are washed as they're used can significantly reduce fruit fly breeding grounds. It will not lure them into laying their eggs in the grime accumulating on your sink's plate. Also, do not leave any glasses of water or other refreshments out. It would help to eliminate all potential breeding grounds. Start by removing any obstructions from the drain as well. Try using ice or apple cider vinegar to clean the drain in your kitchen sink. 
fruit flies like to reproduce in drains where rotting fruit and vegetables remain. If you have a kitchen fan, using it may also deter fruit flies. Keep your surroundings tidy and your food protected. Fruit flies enjoy feeding on and laying their eggs on virtually everything, not just fruits and vegetables, including crumbs, drinks, food, and other liquids that have been spilled. Keep food out of their reach, since as I said earlier, you don't want to aid their survival. Use upside-down dishes, cake domes, plastic wrap, foil, and other materials to cover any exposed food and fruit in your dining area or living area. Additionally, as part of your usual cleaning process, mop the floors because it may have bits of fallen fruit that might attract these flies. The cleaner your environment, the more difficult it is for flies to survive. Rinsing your recycling before putting it in the bin and frequently washing your garbage cans can also reduce the chances of fruit flies as well. Next, start discarding perished items. It is easy to remember to discard or consume the ripe fruits and vegetables on your kitchen counter, but what about the rotting potatoes and onions in your pantry? If there are fruit fly eggs in broken or damaged parts of fruits and vegetables, half-eaten fruit left on the table or counter, or unused leftover vegetables, you should discard them. A single decaying potato or onion or drop of fruit juice under the refrigerator can generate fruit flies. Why not freeze your compost? If you compost, you may wish to reconsider your practices. Some insects are good for the compost pile, but fruit flies can do a lot of damage and lay their eggs on the fruits and vegetables there. So, if you keep compost in the fridge, these flies won't be attracted to it, and they won't be able to lay eggs on the compost. But if you cannot freeze your compost, put traps for fruit flies next to your compost pile and change them often. This isn't necessary during the months in between when food left outside doesn't go bad quickly. Essential oils can be a good alternative. Basil, peppermint, eucalyptus, lemongrass, lavender, and clove all smell bad to fruit flies. If you've had problems with fruit flies before, put these fragrant herbs in muslin or tea bags and hang them around the house. The smell makes them sick. You can put some of these oils on cotton balls and use them to wipe down your home, especially the kitchen, to keep these pests away and make your home smell naturally great. You may try a novel way to hang around the house with tea bags dipped in essential oil blends. You can also buy them in the form of essential oils and use them in a diffuser. Fruit flies dislike strong odors, so try soaking a sponge in lavender oil or placing cedar balls on the counter where you store your fruit. Always make a habit of washing produce. One way to keep flies out of your kitchen is to wash fruits and vegetables as soon as you get home from the store. Most individuals do not consider washing bananas, for instance. But they may be covered with sticky substances from other foods, which fruit flies find very appealing. It's effortless to wash your produce. Try out these simple steps. Holding the produce under a stream of warm water, and gently rub it. Neither soap nor dishwashing liquid is required. Use a fresh vegetable brush to scrub solid fruits and vegetables like melons and cucumbers. To further decrease any bacteria that may be present, dry the produce with a clean cloth or paper towel. Use old wine or beer traps. Like vinegar, fruit flies enjoy the aroma of beer and wine, so you can lure fruit flies to your homemade trap by using old beer and wine. Try setting out an open bottle with a small amount of leftover liquid. The bottle's narrow neck will capture the flies. Do you have a red wine bottle in your kitchen that's been open for too long? Instead of discarding it, use it to eliminate fruit flies quickly. Pour one cup of red wine into a small dish for this project. Cover the bowl's opening with a plastic wrap and seal it with a rubber band. Create a small hole in the plastic wrap using a pencil. Place the trap near the source of the infestation to attract and capture fruit flies. If you're concerned about whether these insects pose a danger to humans, in most cases, fruit fly infestations are merely an annoyance. We've seen a lot of simple risk-free ways to stop infestations and get rid of ones already there. By taking care of your environment, you can stop fruit flies from getting into the bowl of your favorite fruits. Repel them with simple home remedies we discussed. And let's keep the conversation going with a few more videos on pests, shall we? Watch 8 Sure Ways to Permanently Get Rid of Fruit Flies Or 13 Non-Toxic Ways to Get Rid of Pests and Rodents Naturally 
Go ahead and click one, or even better, watch both videos to learn more about simple home hacks. Have you included some of these home remedies into your routine? Let us know in the comments below.